Good morning, Fit Fam. I'm about to brush my teeth and then throw on some random clothing because I'm only going to posing practice. I'm not working out like right after posing. I'm gonna work out after meal prep and everything and before I go pick up um, the kids. So, like, cause I have work and everything today. So, Sydney looks like a little uh, naked mole rat right now, but she's about to brush her teeth. So we have the chicken in the crock pot and I'm heading to posing practice. Currently driving to my posing practice and yeah, it's 10 minutes till noon and it starts at noon. So let's hope I make it in time so I'm not like a late one because I still have to change into my bikini. I'm literally just wearing a long sleeve. So on to posing at posing practice. Uh, one of the IFBB pros, she helps me every week and basically what we did was show our poses and then we had an individual, you'll see mine afterwards, but she was definitely critiquing the other girl a lot more. I think, um, I'm actually not really sure because I was looking at my footage and I don't think I look that great in this, but you guys can give me your commentary down below, but you guys can see what she was doing. She was showing us how to pose, flare our laps a little bit better because that is something that's a hard concept. And then on to me, you guys can see everything that I do when I am posing um, my lats. I definitely need to work on flaring them, but she says that I can turn my shoulders pretty well. Um, I have this speeded up and everything, but this was actually the first time that I did a modified pose. So as you guys can tell, I cannot walk in heels. Like I was falling all over and I'm definitely working on that too. That's something that I am consistently like practicing in my heels so I can get better and more confident in them. But um, she was showing me which arm to raise when I was doing that. And I just didn't quite get the concept that the one that I should have been raising was the one that wasn't on my hip. It was the one that was closest to the judges. Um, so you guys can see right here, this is the guy group for, I think, men's classic physique or men's physique, but not bodybuilding, just so we can clarify. He lines them all up. So one thing that I'm really happy about is the fact that I've gotten my quarter turns down to like a pretty decent rhythm and everything and I've never done dance or anything like that so this is like a totally new thing for me especially reminding myself to keep my heels together because my thighs do touch so it's really hard to get my heels to completely be together so I'm working on that currently but you guys can see everything that we're doing posing wise I feel like I've gotten the poses down um, to the best of my ability at this point. I just can't wait to see myself slim down and that will make a difference. So this right here is Vinny. Vinny is currently bulking. <laughs> Vinny told Max fluff capacity. So how many donuts did you eat yesterday? I had about half a dozen. And when he hugged me, you know which one he was holding? Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly. It was like Boston cream. It's my favorite donut. And I literally could smell it when he hugged me and I was like, wow, you're so nice. So I just finished posing for today. Um, you guys saw the footage. I think I'm a lot more comfortable posing now in comparison to before. If you guys are curious, I, I can do a comparison back to back. This is my body like currently. This is what my body's currently looking like. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm not wearing my posing shoes anymore. Guys, you guys should go follow her. She's doing her, it's your first bikini competition, first right? First bikini competition. Yes. Carpenter. Follow her, I'll have it all right here. She's amazing. We're gonna hit a workout on Saturday. Love you, Sydney. Love you. Mwah. Why out of every spot did I park the one where there's a puddle? Like, what was I thinking? Anyways, I'm walking. Oh, the struggle is real. Okay, I'm going to get the <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna walk a little bit in the water. Oh my God, there. Okay, I'm in and I'm safe. Okay guys, so I am going to Fry's 
and I'm going to be getting the stuff for a video and for my own personal meal prep, so you guys are going to be seeing that. Everything's just gonna stay back here. I have my groceries, I'm heading back home. I bought only like a few things, it's just the stuff that I needed for my video. If you guys have not seen this video, it's in the description box. So the moment I come home, Toasty came to greet me. I was like, oh, you're just so cute, Toasty. You're just so cute. Oh, I love you so much. Hey, come on, let's go play. Go get your bone. Go get your bone, Toasty, go get your bone. Go get it. Oh, are you guys, oh, <laughs> you just, you are crazy today. You are crazy, you are crazy. Arr. Ready, Toast? Ready? Let's bring it to Mommy, oh. Arr. Look it. Ready, ready, Toasty? Ready? Go get it. He's so cute. So I just finished my meal prep. I'm honestly still in the same clothing that I was wearing earlier, but um, I'm gonna clean my room that I've worked and everything. So like first before that, I'm gonna put all my supplements that I take in my pill counter so that then I can um, have that ready for the day. So I just got called in to go pick up Aiden and after I pick up Aiden, I'm going to go straight to the gym. So with that being said, I'm gonna grab my stuff that I need for the gym and then just go pick him up, do that, and then I'll eventually come back home, but I'll take you guys with me. I just dropped off one of the kids. I only had to pick one of them up from their friend's house, but it was like a really long drive. And now I'm heading to the gym. Uh, today's just a cardio day, tomorrow's leg day. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go home and be productive. I'm actually gonna use Sweet Sweat today at the gym, I'm thinking. I just ran a red light. Jesus Christ. I'm not putting that in my vlog. So today I used Sweet Sweat. I'm just gonna show you guys how I put this on. I figured because you guys had been asking me all about it, this is a waist trimmer. So no, this is not gonna make you lose any real fat or weight, but it is going to make you like deep low if you have like a photo shoot or if you want to look good in a dress and you don't want to have the water weight in your stomach this is like a quick fix for that but it's not going to leave lasting results so you just put it on put the sweet sweat on i have the coconut and i just had to adjust it because it was my first time using it and then after doing that i had cardio so for cardio today i was doing 30 minutes of lists so i did five minutes in the beginning for a warm up of just walking without an incline. Then I hopped the incline all the way up to 15, um, which is the highest for 20 minutes at 3.5 miles an hour and it was hell. I was listening to the Motivational Madness, one of the videos that they have on YouTube. You guys should really check them out if you wanna be motivated. Then I cooled down with my five minutes and then um, stretching. So I did a few different stretches. I stretched out my legs and my back just because when you're on incline your back kind of feels it and after that I finished my stretching with a little bit of my hamstrings and quads I didn't know what to expect from the sweet sweat but this is what I had result wise I could definitely tell that my waist was a little bit like less loaded with the water weight but the one thing that I really liked was the fact that the stuff that you put on like the oil it honestly makes your skin feel so rejuvenated and if you guys have stretch marks on your stomach I would just recommend using it and then you can put the oil on there because the oil helps with all those things plus it makes you soft um, so if you're like thinking about trying it out you can always use the oil for it if you feel like it's not working then I just wiped my whole area down that had the oil on it and uh, it it was nice like it I didn't hate it but obviously it's like a quick fix but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like and everything and then I just put my pants back on over my belly button and yeah. So I am currently getting gas after going to the gym. I'm currently 
picking out my outfits for the week. I do this every Sunday just because then I have all my workout outfits and like if I work out in the morning, say I have like a workout outfit for the morning and then I have one for school and like I always wear workout clothing so like they're pretty interchangeable but like this helps me stay you know on track and then I don't have to worry about what to wear. I honestly don't care about the like things that I wear or anything like a lot of people they like take a lot of time to uh, pick out their outfits and look cute and I'm over here like <laughs> I could put a trash bag on for all I care. So I have all my outfits like I'm still working on them currently and then I'm gonna just fix up my room because like a lot of stuff's on the floor just because I'm uh gonna pick out the shoes that I'm gonna wear with them. And with that being said, I also work on my schedule on Sunday nights because I write in what days I have training with my prep coach and then what days I have to work out on my own and if I'm working out in the morning versus if I'm working out in um, evening after work. Now that we're officially 13 weeks out, I'm actually, oh my God, I'm like kind of nervous and it's kind of crazy and it's, wow. I also did my pill container. And uh, with that, I'm still trying to find my turmeric supplement. I know it's here somewhere. I just, I sometimes put things in random places. So now I have to come and like find it. Oh, you know that guy that's from the uh, car wash that I met? That I, he asked for my number. He's Snapchatting me right now. He said I had to screenshot. Why did he have to screenshot me? I don't even look good. What is wrong with this boy? What is wrong with him? What is wrong with people these days? Like, I don't even look good right now. And he's like, I had to screenshot. You guys know that I am like a Snapchat addict and I'll talk to anyone on here. But it's so funny because like, he'll go and open something for like five minutes and then he'll reply. And I'm just like, I'm like, I don't really like look at my Snapchat all the time. Because a lot of the time you guys will like blow up my feed on Snap. But occasionally like when there's people that aren't talking to me or if I like leave everyone unopened just because I'm busy I'll see that he like left me unopened and then I'm just like boy but then he, he said that so you know let's snapchat in back guys <laughs> okay this is a struggle I just sent him a snapchat back but um yeah boys kind of suck and i'm not really like looking for a boy but it's kind of fun just to like talk to someone who's like into fitness and stuff and like he doesn't ask me for anything dirty so like you know for now we'll i'll talk to him but i'm so i'm actually about to do my schedule for the week and this week i have four videos going up on my channel props to me this is lit but yeah so like currently right now all i'm really doing is this i'm 13 weeks out so like at the top i do this in my planner to remind me constantly because i'm constantly looking at my schedule i remind me myself to um i always remind myself that i'm 13 weeks out and that i need to keep pushing and giving it my all and so um yeah, yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm texting my boss back it's like 11 30. 